I hope you're doing super well today. This is Shiley and you're watching Eat Breathe Books. Sorry y'all, I'm making the intro to this vlog after filming the vlog. Basically, I'm just gonna take you through two days. The first day I went to Target to go book shopping or book browsing. I didn't let myself buy anything either day. So book browsing and the same with Amazon Books the next day. Uh, before I go to Amazon Books, I do leave an explanation as to why I'm going to Amazon Books. But anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much to all the old subscribers, all the new subscribers, everyone who's been enjoying my content. I really do appreciate it and enjoy the video. I forgot I also have footage from a different day where I bought people you meet on vacation at Target. So I'll insert that before I insert the other Target day and the Amazon Books day. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. It's Tuesday, May 11th. I am in Target and Yes, it is release day for People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. As you know, I didn't buy it the other day at Barnes & Noble because I saw it before release day and we want the sales to count. We want the sales to count, or if you heard me. Anyway, got my copy and I'm very excited to dive in. That's it. Okay, we're in Target. Going to the book section. First, of course, let's go over some books I've read here that I've enjoyed. Cuban Girls Got to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Amy. So good. I've heard really good things about this. Um, I want to read Victoria Aveyard's Red Queen series before diving into this. I um, haven't read this. What else? I need to reread Crave so I can read the rest of the series. And I love this so much. Like, Jenny Han's work is incredible. I haven't read this yet, but I do have it, and I read Angie's first two books, The Hate You Give and On the Come Up, and I really enjoyed them. Um, what else? I think I'm gonna read this soon. I really like Morgan Watson's work, and this one just came out. Oh my gosh, like so many beautiful books here, you guys. Look what they have. Excuse me while I ugly cry by Joya Goffney. I might have to cop this today. I'm like literally so excited to read this. Like, sounds like such a great rom com. As well as Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant, which also sounds really sweet and romantic about a girl who's a freshman in college who joins a creative writing class. Heard really good things about this one too. And an author I really like said she liked this book. I just can't remember who it was. I was looking for um, The Ivies by Alexa Dunn, but I actually can't find it here, which sucks. But um, yeah, those two are really exciting ones. And the, <laughs> I like the color scheme, I'll show you guys. Both have that, you know, like teal kind of look and the white font and the pretty colors and everything, which I love. This is what their spines look like. I guess that's it for the, for the Target portion of the book shopping vlog. Um, hopefully I'll go to Amazon Books tomorrow and check out some other reads because they just have a much bigger selection. I mean, I do see stuff here I'm interested in, like Dial A for Aunties by Jess Q. Sutanto. I really hope I pronounced that correctly. I love this cover and it looks like a lot of fun. I love reading stories about like aunties who kind of just like butt in and you know they always do it out of love but sometimes it's or usually do it out of love but sometimes they're kind of like tough on the person they're trying to help out. So I love stories like that. Um what else? I've heard good things about Talia Hibbert's work. Let me know if you've read anything from her. I've heard some good things from multiple people. You know, like it's a Target, so the book selection's not gonna be huge. I used to go to this other Target a lot that had a much bigger selection of books. This one doesn't, but that's okay. We'll go to Amazon Books tomorrow and check it out. I try not to only shop from Amazon. I try to buy full price from like Barnes & Noble, sometimes indie bookstores too. However, I really need to save money. Like I've been spending too much money lately, so I'm really sorry, but I will be buying from Amazon. I am about to embark on this journey to go to Amazon Books to check out some, you guessed it, books. And I'm so excited. Um... I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy anything. I might just look the same way that I did at Target yesterday because I really should be saving money and not going over budget. But just in case I feel really tempted to get something, like, I'm, honestly, excuse me, while well, ugly, ugly Cry and Happily Ever After is like really on the top of my list, as well as some other books. So if I do it, decide to get anything, at least it'll be a little cheaper on Amazon. I just went over budget this month and I really do like paying full price for books obviously to support authors and everyone else involved in the publishing process as much as I can so I do like to purchase um, books from Barnes and Noble I got a membership recent kind of recently and then sometimes like indie bookstores as well however really can't go over budget this month so we're going to Amazon books 
gotta do what you gotta do, right? Have my bucket hat on for some protection from the sun while I drive. And um, what can I have a bookstore? What can I have a bookstore? I'm a literal clown. I saw a girl taking a selfie with this cute guy who had a mask on, obviously, but cute guy, like tall, um, thin, wavy brown hair. And I was like, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> so I literally stopped. I text my friend Abby. I'm like, I think I'm standing next to Timmy. It was not Timmy. And then I was like, I also thought it was like Joshua Bassett. It was just a random dude. It was just a random dude. Oh. Do you hear that? It's the sound of my excitement because Amazon Books is right next to me, just a few feet away. A little more than six feet apart. We're almost there, we're almost there. There she is. She's so cute. Okay, I see Victoria Aveyard's book here. I'm not gonna get it though because I want to read the Red Queen series first. She's a USC graduate like me, so gotta support. And I just heard that Red Queen's gonna be a TV show, which is exciting. Ooh, this cover is really pretty. I haven't heard of this before. Let's see. Beach tree, Victorian style houses. I like this drawing also, it's cute. Ooh, okay, I really want this. But all my other Christina and Lauren books are paperback, but it's exciting that they've made a hardcover. It's two women, Christina and Lauren, they write rom-coms. This is The Soulmate Equation. I think this one's about two scientists who fall in love. Like science or fate. That's cute. Okay, I might get this. Okay, here's the section we all know and love. The Young Adult YA section. So many great options. They have my girl... Jenny Han's novel, um, the third, like the last book in the Tall the Boys trilogy. And has anyone read John Green's new book yet? I think it's a collection of personal essays. Oh, I got this. I've been excited to read this. I think this is going to be a TV show too. I think this is like a mermaid series. Am I the only one who doesn't know anything about Star Wars? I've only seen like one movie. So I guess I know something, but not that much. Um, what else do we have here? Okay. I, look, at, look at the cover for this. How sick. I'll cast by Blood Warriors by choice. This is really effective marketing, not only because it's a beautiful cover, but are we girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? Like, I have no idea what that means, but I'm intrigued, you know? What else? Oh, I'm reading this right now, actually, but I have, like, the hardcover, like, the blue cover. Do you watch the movie for this? Okay, so I watched the movie for this that Justin Baldoni directed, and I really enjoyed it. I just haven't read the book. But I definitely do want to at some point. I know they have another book also. I might be set in the same world. I'm not sure, but yeah. Okay, here's the book I was talking about. John Green, The Anthropocene Reviewed. There are no disinterested observers, but only participants. Okay, maybe it's something more like scientific or philosophical. Essays on a human-centered planet. Interesting. I like the cover. I like this too. This is so cute. Ice cream party. Has anyone read any of Jasmine Gilroy's books? I purchased The Wedding Date, I think it's called, and I haven't read it yet, but I've heard some good things from some people. This is like a companion series, I think, that she's written about like different couples in the same world um, in like different situations. Like one's like a wedding, one's like a political situation, things like that. Look at that, we have Colleen Hoover. This is one of her best novels for sure. I mean, I've liked pretty much everything I've read from her, but yeah, I love this one, I highly recommend. Oh, and I just heard really good things about The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez, but I'm gonna actually borrow it from someone, but yeah, I'm excited for this too. I will say something I like about the Amazon bookstore is they have different like sections, like <laughs> breakup survival guides. I wonder who comes up with these, but I guess these are different like, you know, breakup self-help kind of books. I've read Ruby Core's first two poetry collections. I haven't read that one yet. And then they have On Stage and Screen, which is mainly just honestly Outlander and Bridgerton. As well as a few other things, but it's mainly Diana Gabaldon up here. I have a whole Spanish section, which I think is really, really, really cool. Really just all different kinds of books. Like, yeah, like biographies, um, five love languages. I need to read that, but I have st studied some of it, thought it was interesting. Like children's stories, and then a hundred books to read in a lifetime. Again, I wonder who came up with this list. That was good. I actually did like that. I know not everyone does, though. We love a discount. 
but if I get anything from this section, I want to make sure I like actually want it enough just because it's like on sale, you know? Like, these are catching my eye. I do have this already. Oh, I always thought this cover was so cool. As we know, I literally love this book to bits and pieces. Literally so, so, so good. I need to talk about it in my wrap up for May because, wow, I was so blown away by this. I also already bought that and I'm really excited to read it, but someone's borrowing it right now. If you're looking for a really romantic and also a little bit of an emotional read i would check this out this is kind of similar to love rosie i would say it's told like it just goes over a bunch of years it pops between present day and like the past i don't know if you guys can hear me right now but yeah it's really good i'm kind of surprised they don't have a lot of the books i thought they'd have here like they don't have um excuse me while i agree cry writer or honestly do anything creative even if you just like roller skate once a week that counts as creativity i would totally recommend a big magic by elizabeth gilbert it's a really helpful book on just like acknowledging fear but then still continuing to hone your craft or do the things that you love so i really like this one there's a there are like two literal beds in the store like people are trying out beds i've never seen that here before interesting i kind of want to lie down on one but i also don't just have to visit the middle grade section and see all the cool cool stuff they have here for younger for younger people younger readers there's so many great options for young readers now like we're gonna celebrate your body and it changes too that's a huge deal i feel like a lot of times we compare ourselves to our younger selves and how our bodies look then and it's just not realistic so this is so great and i also heard really good things about this picture book Air Love. Um, it's, I think, based on a short film, or the short film's based on this, I can't remember, but I have been meaning to check it out. It's by Matthew A. Cherry, who's an Academy Award-winning creator. Well, I ended up not getting anything, but I'm actually really proud of myself for showing restraint. I really just wanted to come and show all of you some books that sounded interesting and you know, just give you like new recommendations, maybe things you haven't heard of or remind you of things you've heard of before or whatnot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog with me book browsing at Target and Amazon Books. Thank you to all the new subscribers also. I'm so happy that so many of you have joined this little family and I appreciate it so much. Talk to you guys later. Bye.